we are here at Sela. 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 Okay. Sela. Everyone pronounces it a little bit. I think it's actually called it Sela because I was looking up on my Bible about a week ago, and on the Hebrew it is pronounced Sela. Okay. Sela. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's Sela. So we're here with Sela. <laughs> okay. So are you enjoying yourself? How do you feel yeah, going it's, now? It's really been good. Um, there's been a lot of artists and I think it, it has been really a, a, a good event, um, especially on a Saturday night where not much things are happening. So I think it's good for people to just come out and, and that have plays, poets, um, and also just to turn some ministry for people to just come out and just really worship. Definitely, definitely. I hear that. It's like something that we don't have to be at home and sitting and watching the telly. People come together as well. Yeah. 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 I hear that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me about your ministry. Um. I'm a psalmist. Um, I really, I'm someone that really loves to worship. Um, and I think, I, I think for myself also, it's, um, it's, it's kind of been birthed out of um, things that I've gone through. Um, just you know, you, you, you go through a lot of things in life, and um, I kind of understood that no matter what it is, whatever the situation. Um, whether it be finances, whether it be family problems, no matter what it is, um, God showed me the way to get through things and especially to stay in the realm is to worship. God loves worship. Regardless of what it is that we do, we have to give God worship. And I think um, kind of my gripe for myself and someone just asked me, well, why is it your problem? Um, I feel that we've come to a, a stage where we, people like to be pumped to worship, and I, I, it, it really hurts me. Um, and because God's done so much things in, in each individual's life, so we shouldn't have to. Um, you shouldn't have to say to someone, "Come on, let's praise God, let's give God what is actually due unto Him." Yeah, so you just just stand up more to worship, just to worship God. It, it's something that I, I, is a passion for me, um, and it's allowed me to really get to a very close place in God and being able to determine what is actually going on in the realm as well. I hear that. I hear that. It's very deep. I see that you're a worshipper and you have a passion for these things, mm. which is very important. It's good that we've got people like you in um, the church that can help us out, sort of direct those who aren't um, as, as, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? Those who aren't, those who don't know as much about these things as you do. So I think that's a brilliant thing and I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the night. I hope your ministry will continue to grow and go to the will of God and not yours but God's will. So you continue to be a worshipper because those are needed. You know when the times get rough, continue to worship as you say you do. Even though those that go to our plans, continue to worship as you do. But you said earlier that um, the things that are going to help us out is when we praise Him. That's what you said earlier when you're ministering and it's true. I think so much times, and I, I don't get me wrong, I know and I understand it myself. It's hard when your flesh doesn't want to worship. Mm. It's it's a contradiction because you've got your spirit that directly wants to worship God, has to worship God, but your flesh doesn't want to because it may be going through a lot of different things. You may be feeling depressed, you may be feeling down, you may be going through a whole host of things. But the one thing which I really do like was when David says, Saul, why are you so downcast? And what he was actually saying is, you know, I know you may be feeling down, but you know what? Pick yourself up. He was actually telling himself, worship God. So it's getting a sense to a place of no matter what you're feeling, just push through that stage. When you push through, you automatically see God show up. God shows up because he has to, because worship is being offered up to him. Definitely, definitely hear that. You're so passionate about this. It's unbelievable to hear you. But I hope you enjoy yourself and you continue to grow as a sister.